An extra $200 a month would reflect a 12% increase to this amount. And currently, Social Security taxes are paid only on the first $147,000 of earnings. DeFazio and Sanders want to change this. Their bill would apply to tax on any income of more than $250,000. A fact sheet on the proposed legislation say that over 90% of households would not see their taxes go by one penny. One key thing to note about the bill is that it leaves a donut hole in place. Any income between 147 and 250 grand would not be subject to Social Security taxes. Also, everybody, Social Security taxes are currently only a pall to income earned from working. However, the SSEA would extend the tax to investment and business income. The prospect for passage of major Social Security reform could even become more difficult after the November elections. And political leaders will likely feel the pressure to bolster the federal program at some point, even if benefit increases are not in the mix. Everybody, the White House officials have put forward a new stimulus bill. This would include sending out at least $350 stimulus checks to eligible people. Governor Gavin Newsom and the state legislative leaders have confirmed that most people in California would receive stimulus checks ranging from $200 to $350 per person under a budget deal. Tax refunds under the agreement's $17 billion inflation relief package is going to provide $350 to individuals making less than $75,000 per year. And couples making less than $150,000 who file their taxes together would receive $700. Now, if families in those categories have at least one dependent, the deal calls for them to also receive another $350. That means families could receive up to $1,000 together. The agreement would also provide checks, although in smaller amounts, to many people who make more money. The smallest payments are designated for individuals making up to $250,000 who would get $200. Couples filing jointly who make less than half a million dollars will receive $400. Under the plan, the state would send them money, would send people the money through direct deposits and debit cards beginning in October. A spokesperson, a spokesperson for the state's Department of Finance has said that the state's Franchise Tax Board estimates all the money will be sent out by early next year. The state budget deal must be passed by the legislature and signed by Newsom to become law, but it's staying stress in the face of these potential challenges. In other words, more stimulus payments are definitely necessary for the American people that need stimulus checks the most. Folks, many Americans could end up receiving thousands of dollars in financial relief soon under a new proposal. Families are actually qualify for either a one-time lump sum payment or even small monthly checks. Even Senator Michael Bennett wants people to remember that the child tax credit historically was not a controversial program. In a Democrat from Colorado scheduled to chair a subcommittee hearing this week, focus on the tax credit's history and looking how Congress could perhaps reach a consensus on expanding it once more. For the majority of the quarter century, it has been on the books. The child tax credit has been a significant part for both parties. Also, it was implemented in 1997, but the bipartisan issue was in 2017, when Republicans passed a massive tax cut. Although the measure doubled the amount of credit for $2,000, the overall bill was opposed by Democrats who said it was primarily benefiting the wealthier Americans. Four years later, Democrats have passed a dramatic expansion of the child tax credit from Joe Biden. He tied the benefits of the enhanced credit as very essential to the American people. Senator Bennett also said that he did not believe providing families roughly $10 a day would leave parents to quit their jobs. But now, recently proposed bills from representatives are actually helping out many people, giving them $3,000 a year. According to the most recent Federal Student Aid and Data Center, 43 million people have outstanding federal student loans. For those struggling to manage their payments, loan forgiveness is a huge thing. And the White House released data today showing the number of student borrowers in each state who are eligible for automatic loan relief under the one-time payment adjustment. Last Friday, the Education Department notified 804,000 borrowers that they will have their student loans forgiven under income-driven repayment plans. If a tenant meets with the Ford stimulus check, Social Security benefits, SI, SSDI, and also SSA. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you for your support, everybody, and thank you for watching this channel. As a way for me to show my appreciation to you, I want to give away your free $60 Amazon gift card. So here, everybody, here's the code for your free $60 Amazon gift card. If you'd like to redeem the code, just enter it in the checkout aisle. And all you got to do to enter it is subscribe to the channel. First of all, it's happening, and you may start to receive extra month benefits soon. The recent cuts to SNAP benefits have made a huge impact on the economy. But as the Federal Reserve warns the country to expect a recession, state lawmakers are passing new bills that will boost benefits by hundreds of thousands of dollars. And now, extra SNAP payments during the crisis expired in March, and lives are now saving hundreds, hundreds of dollars each month. Indeed, we are lowering costs 
That it wants you to claim this relief now, and millions of people residing in several states are missing out on another payment from the federal government. If you are a part-time worker or a senior citizen, you will likely qualify for one of these checks. Nearly 1.5 million Americans that could be owed a share of the unclaimed tax refunds are going to get the stimulus cash, because according to the IRS, the outstanding funds are worth almost $1.5 billion, with an average payout of 900 bucks. Typically, there is a three-year deadline to claim refunds before the cash becomes property of the U.S. Treasury. But because of the crisis, there has been an extension for the tax returns. It means taxpayers have until July 17 to claim the money back. And according to the IRS, Texas residents are owed the most, with an estimated 135,000 residents in this state sitting on an average of $924. It's totaling over $141 million. The state-by-state -state breakdown calculated by the agency shows that California residents have the second highest sum of possible refunds, with $141 million potentially owed to 145,000 people. Florida comes in third with a median projected refund of $893 for about 90,000 residents. And the IRS predicts that about 81,000 New Yorkers could be owed almost $87 million, while people living in Illinois could be sitting on about $57 million in unclaimed cash. The state with the lowest sum of unclaimed tax refunds is Vermont, where 3,100 people could be eligible for just over $3 million in refunds. The average amount of money that could be owed is slightly over the national median at $901, because according to the agency, students, part-time workers, and seniors often overlook. Older adults just worry that the payments that are currently receiving will be cut by a looming shortfall in the federal program. It's important to understand that old age survivors and disability insurance affects not just seniors but also workers who develop disabilities in families in which a spouse or parent dies. And because Social Security is funded through a payroll tax era, employers and employees each pay 6% of wages up to the taxable maximum of 160 grand. The trustees of the Social Security and Medicare reported that more than money is coming out than coming in. And without intervention, this trust fund will only have continuing tax income to pay out 77% of the scheduled payment. And starting in 2031, Medicare's hospital insurance will be able to pay 89% of the scheduled benefits for hospital services. The Disability Trust Fund is projected to be able to pay 100% of total scheduled benefits throughout at least 2097. And by the end of this year, inflation levels are reaching an all-time high, and interest rates had grown considerably since the onset of the crisis, and the impact of the supply chain issue was still echoing throughout the market. And given these unanticipated disruptions, the American real estate market faced a very hard and tremulous eventful year. But people are looking for a turnaround to happen next year. Economists are predicting that interest in mortgage rates will peak again this year as well, and even a report finds that affordability is even calming as mortgage rates are slowing down. But in its efforts to 